Uh, my name is Rich Fauche. Um, I'm a registered Republican and I live in the state of Virginia. I've been a Republican since my first election when I voted for Ronald Reagan. Uh, I considered myself a, a, a Reaganite uh, kid in the early years and, um, and it was also uh, a period that inspired me to go into the military, which I, I spent 30 years in. I was in the command with General uh, John Kelly, uh, a man that I would uh, follow anywhere into battle as a, as a Marine. And, um, you know, I knew that he had great judgment when it came to his tactical and his dedication to the country. And uh, I thought, you know, here's a man who's going to, no matter who wins, if he ends up getting into the administration, he's going to try to keep the person that's in the presidency honest, meaning uh, Donald Trump. Unfortunately, uh, even with the power and the uh, uh, stubbornness and tenacity that General um, Kelly had, uh, he obviously didn't expect the behavior that uh, Donald Trump dis has displayed all his life. General Mattis expressed his opinion multiple times now that uh, uh, President Donald Trump is unfit for office. I think as a military veteran and as m all veterans that serve honorably and uh, serve the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the the, the people of the, the country understand that that is the first and foremost thing is that you serve the people of the country and that General Mattis is a person that all of us as veterans would follow uh, with his example and that he is correct in saying that this man, Donald Trump, the president of the United States currently is unfit for the presidency. Donald Trump has uh, touted that he has been the best president for the military, that he always supports the military, but at, at the same time refuses to meet with Putin about the topic of uh, bounties on American military personnel overseas. And uh, at home, the president continues to use the military as a, as a pawn to his political or whatever his egotistical will is, uh, the man, Donald Trump, cannot be trusted by any military personnel because they all know that he does not care about us at all or the people that we defend, period. The oath of office that as a military personnel take our political leaders in key positions like the president of the United States, our senators and representatives, uh, that in front of their welfare is the welfare of the United States, the constitution and the people. And if that means giving up your life to defend it, that's what it may take to do. And that lives with you through your entire life until your death. And when you meet up with or hear and listen to someone like the president speak, you understand that, that our president is not a person that takes the oath serious at any level. In fact, it would, could even be said that he's a co-conspirator against those that try to do harm to our nation. My plan for the 2020 election is to get the word out about how bad it is that we have Donald Trump in office and to convince as many voters not to vote for Donald Trump, but to support Joe Biden in this election. Joe Biden will bring a unification uh, ability to our nation and change the dynamic that has eroded away with, under President Donald Trump uh, to bring it back into a positive, forward-moving and forward-thinking nation 
with leadership at the top that cares and understands about all citizens in the United States.